Hi everyone, it's Miss Olivia. Last time I taught, I read you the story of the Holy Spirit entering the disciples' hearts. And I realized that it's probably confusing having me talk about God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, and how they are all one God, called the Trinity. So I decided to read this book for you to hopefully help you understand the Trinity a little bit better. I'm sorry that you can't see my face, but the pictures in this book are really important, so I decided to prop you up so that you can see all the pictures. The story is called Three in One, A Picture of God. Here is one apple. There is only one true God. The apple has three parts, the peel, the flesh, and the core. The one true God has three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All three parts of the apple are apple. The peel is apple. It is not an orange. It's not a banana. The flesh is apple. It's not pear. It's not a plum. The core is an apple. It's not grapefruit and it's not watermelon. But these three, the peel, the flesh, the core, are not three apples, but just one apple. All three persons of the one true God are God. God the Father is God. God the Son is God. God the Holy Spirit is God. But these three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, are not three gods, but just one God. The three parts of the apple have different purposes. The peel protects, it keeps the apple healthy. The flesh of the apple is good to eat. Lots of good things to eat are made from the flesh of the apple, like apple pie, apple crisp, apple sauce, apple cider, apple dumplings, apple jelly, apple sauce cake, and apple fritters. The core of the apple contains seeds from which apple trees grow. When just one apple seed is planted in the ground, the result is many, many apples. Like the apple, the three persons of the one true God have different purposes too. God the Father is our protector. He made us, you, me, all people, all things, even apples. He loves us and protects us, makes even bad things turn out for our good. He keeps things growing so we have food, cows, carrots, even apples. Sometimes we do things that God doesn't like. God said there must be a punishment for these things that would make us very sad. It would hurt a lot for a very long, long time. But God loves us so much that he sent God the Son to make our punishment for us. His name is Jesus. He was a real man. He suffered. It hurt a lot. He died. Jesus was buried as an apple seed is buried in the ground. But he was really God. And as an apple seed sprouts from the ground and makes new apples possible, Jesus rose from the dead. And the result is... Beautiful, wonderful, happy new lives for us. But before we can have this beautiful, wonderful happiness, there is something else we must have. Faith in Jesus. When you plant an apple seed in the ground, you believe an apple tree will grow from it. That's faith in an apple seed. When you believe that Jesus died for you and lives again to give you a beautiful, wonderful, happy new life, that's faith in Jesus. Our hearts are like a piece of ground. The ground cannot plant itself with an apple seed. Someone must put the seed into the ground. We cannot put faith into our own hearts. God, the Holy Spirit, makes us believe in Jesus. He puts faith into our hearts and keeps it alive and growing as long as we want him to. 
When an apple seed is planted in the ground, the rain feeds it and it begins to grow. When the Holy Spirit puts faith into the heart, he feeds it with God's word and faith begins to grow. When the apple tree is grown up strong and healthy, it bears fruit. When faith is grown up strong and healthy, it too bears fruit like joy, humility, patience, kindness, peace, goodness, self-control, love, and faithfulness. When you pick an apple from a tree, you know it's an apple. It looks like an apple. It has an apple peel. Its flesh is apple. If you plant a seed from its core, an apple tree will grow. Though it has three parts, you do not you know you do not have three apples, only one apple. If you have faith in the true God, you believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. There are three persons, but there is only one true God. That's the end of the story. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I really, really hope I can see everyone in person soon.